14-year-old Noah has type 1 diabetes. Using a new technology, the MD Logic artificial pancreas has been life-changing. I use the artificial pancreas at nights, evenings, uh, before I eat dinners and until going to school at mornings. I think it's user-friendly, I think it's easy to use, the program is very, very clear and it made my life easier. This innovative product was developed here at the Institute for Endocrinology and Diabetes at the Schneider Children's Medical Centre, Israel. The centre provides clinical services for 1,700 type 1 diabetes patients, plus clinical research and a diabetes technology centre. We have actually created the Dream Team. The Dream Consortium is based on a partnership between Germany with Professor Thomas Dane, Slovenia with Professor Tade Batelino, and our team. So these three centers are involved in multi-center, multinational studies and the MD Logic artificial pancreas. It is a system that includes a continuous glucose sensor, insulin pump, and a brain that basically connects these two parts of the link into a one whole system. The MD Logic artificial pancreas is unique because it's actually translation of the way that medical doctor think, and this is why we call it the MD Logic, into computerized algorithms. It is personalized. It has a learning system because we understand, as physicians, we understand that each patient is not only different but might change during the day. It has the ability to communicate with the patient and also with the environment, with the physicians and with the family if needed. We can improve the life of type 1 diabetic patients using the MD Logic Artificial Pancreas by providing them uh, with a way of uh, forgetting about their diabetes for a minute. Meaning they can hook up to the system, turn it on, and then the system does all the insulin management automatically. Artificial pancreas can release the burden of the patients that now currently has to uh, check their blood glucose six, seven times a day, have to calculate the amount of carbohydrate that they eat during the meal, and take all these things into account and decide how many insulin to give to the patient. Every patient with type 1 diabetes is exposed to the danger of severe complications of low blood glucose levels like convulsions and coma and even death and on the other hand every patient is exposed to the danger of high blood glucose level which are associated with all the microvascular complications in the long-term complications and the artificial pancreas actually take care of both ends it prevents the low blood glucose level on the one hand and prevents the high blood glucose level. If my levels go very high, it fixes my levels. It calculates itself how much insulin I should take, and it gives an automatic order to my pump to give me that insulin. And I'm all balanced, even more balanced than I was when I went to sleep. One of the important things for us was to make sure that the system is safe and efficient. In order to test that, we conducted several kinds of clinical studies from feasibility within the hospital, then taking the system into a multi-center study around Europe in Germany, Slovenia, and in Israel. Then conducted a study, transitional study, outside of the hospital in a diabetes camp when we basically tested the system in a very extreme conditions. And finally, give the system to patients to be used at home. We have shown that we can keep the blood glucose level of patients in diabetes camp the manuscript that we have published in the New England Journal of Medicine in February 2013. And in patients' home, we have done already 858 nights at patients' home. We have an interim analysis that shows that we can reduce dramatically the amount of hypoglycemic episodes 
the time spent in hypoglycemia, and at the same time, keep the blood glucose level, uh, most of the time, within the desired range. We did what we wanted the system to do. But beyond that, hearing the patient telling us that they want to use it again, and that they want to keep their laptop with the system at their home all the time, this is the most important thing, that saying that the system is working and that the studies was success. We call it the dream consortium, but actually uh, it's a dream that became a reality. And since the system is effective and safe, we believe that this can become a reality for patients in the very near future.